Alexander Zverev versus Grigor Dimitrov, second semi-final for the Men's Miami Open for 2024. Both guys have been super impressive to get this far. Dimitrov entered the tournament as a number 11 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Tabillo. After losing the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, 7-6, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Halfman, who had just beaten Manorino in the previous round. There's no problem for Dimitrov beating Halfman in under an hour, 6-1, 6-love. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 8 seed, Hercatch, who had just played an epic match against Quarter the day before. And this is no different with Dimitrov. Dimitrov losing the first set and fighting back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 7-6 six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Dimitrov will take on the number one seed, Alcaraz, who had just won Indian Wells the week before. But Dimitrov came out on fire, demolishing Alcaraz, 6-2, six, 6-4, six, to advance to the semifinals. Zverev into the tournament as the number four seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Ojeel Yassim. This is no problem getting through in straights, 6-2, six, 6-4. Six, Third round, he take on Eubanks, 31st seed, who had a really good run here last year. And after a close first set, we'll get through in straights. 7-6-6-3. Fourth round, he'd take on the 15th seed, Hashinov, who just had a battle against Sarundalo in the previous round. This is no problem for Zverev getting through in straights. 6-1-6-4 to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Zverev will take on Marajan, the unseeded Hungarian who'd taken out Diminor and Runa along the way. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3-7-5 to advance to the semi-final. These two have played eight times before, with Zverev leading the head-to-head 7-1, with the only victory for Dimitrov being back in 2014 on indoor hard courts against a very young Zverev. So Zverev's won the last seven in a row, including including four matches last year. Having a look at the shot quality for these guys over the last couple of weeks, on the serve, Zverev is at a 9.0 this week compared to an 8.7 of Dimitrov. So both serving very, very well. But on the returns, that's where the difference is with Zverev at an 8.1 and a 6.6 for Dimitrov. Dimitrov leads the forehand with an 8.4 on average this week compared to a 7.9 for Zverev. But Zverev's backhand has been so solid with an 8.7 compared to a 7.7 for Dimitrov. So once the rallies get started, if it's backhand to backhand, you think Zverev's going to win those rallies. But also the serving of Zverev is going to be a key to this one. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a great matchup. So much fun to see Dimi playing so well at this kind of veteran age. But I could have got Zverev. I mean, that head-to-head -head is so one-sided. I don't know how I can pick Dimitrov. Uh, maybe get him, give him a set, maybe three sets Zverev. But I think Zverev's going to make the final. Let me go down in the comments below. Who is going to make the final of Miami?